What's up everybody? Joe K. Walsh here. Uh, and I'm doing a demo of a new Lawrence Smart Manducello. It was made, uh, it, just, it just arrived actually just before Thanksgiving, so I guess it's about two months old. It was finished in the year 2022. And so it's a Manducello, which means that it's the same notes as cello, which means it's C, G, D, and A. So coming from a mandolin background, which I do, um, and a lot of the fingerings and shapes are the same, but of course I'm adjusting because what would be a familiar G chord now becomes a C chord. What would be a D chord now sounds like G. So there's a bit of a, uh, a learning curve with that regard coming from the mandolin. Um, but it's been really fun to get to know this instrument. Um, it really does, you know. It does the bass lines really well, and, and it feels like, kind of, oddly enough, lends itself to some funkiness. Lawrence was asking me what, what color I wanted, and when I was on the road with Daryl, Anger, and Grant, and Daryl really was pulling heavily for kind of a classic oval oval hole sunburst like from the, the 20s with the Gibson F4s. So that's what we went for. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful instrument. Let's check out the back. I've been spending a fair amount of time reading um, the Bach cello suites on this and actually working on reading the left hand parts of a bunch of Bach piano uh, pieces, um, so finding a mandolin playing friend who could read part of the Goldberg Variations. Maybe you've um, heard of that record that Chris Thiele and Mike Marshall did called Into the Cauldron, and some of their tunes featured the mandocello, and especially one of them had um, Mike and Chris each taking one of the parts of one of the Goldberg Variations, splitting it up. Chris took the right hand. Mike took the left hand, and that's a that's a cool place to start. There's a lot of tunes where I've, you can check out uh, what's going on in the lower part of the register on the piano and make that work on the mandocello. So I've been doing a lot of that, trying to learn how to read in bass clef, um, and also just seeing what melodies would sound nice on this. So also one thing that's really amazing about this is just listen to how long it rings. Just keeps going and going. Still ring. Um, there's something like uh, almost like cath like a th cathedral. Beautiful. So, anyways, here's the Hank Williams tune. 